How to find interest on Facebook to sell your e-commerce product. What's going on guys? Yash here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is absolutely having a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys can do me a huge favor, please do drop a like on this video and also subscribe and turn on your post notification bells. So what we're going to be talking about today is how to accurately and efficiently find the best interests to start testing a product on the Facebook advertising platform. Okay, so just to give you a little bit of a background, my name is Yash. I do e-commerce dropshipping. I also have a marketing agency. And, you know, a big struggle I had when I was first getting into e-commerce dropshipping and, you know, once I found a product, you know, after I did some research and validation is how to find interest, right? Your interest is basically what you're gonna be setting up within your campaign to basically reach to that cold audience, right? You have your cold audience, your warm audience, and your hot audience, which is the most accurate. But down here at the bottom of the funnel, you know, you're gonna be testing different interests to reach that specific group of audience and to see, you know, which are the most relevant and which are the most profitable, you know, to basically sell your product to, okay? So interest oftentimes can be a little bit difficult to find. Um, definitely stick around till the end of the video because I'm also going to be showing you a second bonus way to very quickly find interest right on the spot that you guys can utilize, you know, to start testing your product on Facebook ads. So with that being said, guys, also do join my Facebook group. It's completely free. It's called Ecom Masterminds. I will leave a link to that in the description down below. Okay, with all my other social media platforms as well. So today, again, like I said, we're going to be going over one way to find interests. If you guys want to actually know my product research and launch strategy, definitely check out that video right there. Um, you know, I do talk a little bit more about how I basically go ahead and, you know, set up my product and, you know, kind of my whole strategy behind that budgeting, you know, actually share my ads manager and whatnot. So let's get right into it. So guys, if you aren't already familiar, you know, this is the back end of, you know, your Facebook business manager, um, you know, and what I am looking at right here is my audience insights tool. Okay. So this is something actually Facebook offers, you know, if you have an ad account or in business manager. So how you want to basically get here is you want to go underneath analyze and report once you go to the menu here on top and you want to go into audience insights okay these are basically different insights and different tips and different value points that facebook provides you know based on the audiences that are already on facebook so once you do that it will give you a little box right here that says choose an audience to start what you want to do is click on everyone on facebook okay so this is basically insights from again all the people that are already on facebook so where it says location, I personally just leave it to United States. You know, that is where most of my uh, uh, purchasers or buyers are from. And most likely, you know, for you guys, if you're just doing traditional drop shipping, you know, most of your buyers will be from the United States as well. Age and gender, uh, I keep pretty broad. Um, so I do leave that, you know, alone. You do want to make sure, you know, your interests are technically as broad as possible because, you know, you want to basically find you know the best suitable audience you know once you get into those warmer and hotter audiences okay so i don't touch any of that nor do i touch any of the connections pages advanced settings or any of that okay but what we're going to be looking at is interest right here okay so let's say hypothetically you have this product in the outdoor space okay and specifically you have a product in the camping space okay not hiking not bicycling okay we're gonna go even a little bit more niche down um you know within the outdoors general niche okay so we're gonna be talking about the camping niche specifically um you know you basically have a product that you found and now you want to basically look at some interests okay now i'm not telling you to rely on the audience insights tool but it's definitely 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 a great great insightful tool that will definitely help you you know get some of those interests rolling and even you know maybe some other ideas as well so you know when we're thinking about interest guys we want to think of you know who will be interested in x x being the interest that will be also interested in buying my product okay so x which is an interest can be 
a TV show, a television personality, a celebrity, a magazine, a blog, a company, a brand. It can be a behavioral interest, okay? It can literally be anything, okay? So really think, 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 think broad. And, you know, this will definitely, again, help you a little bit, you know, dig deeper into your actual audience, okay? Um, so what we're going to do is first we're going to type in outdoors. And then... We're gonna click right here and we're gonna even go a little bit deeper. We're gonna do camping, okay? And you can already see that stuff is starting to change in terms of the analytics. So you can see that um, for camping, first of all, most of, um, actually, you know, it's half and half, which is actually pretty cool. 50% um, are female and 50% are male, but you can also see that most of your audience will be from 25 year olds to 55 year olds okay so that's again a great way to just set all of your audiences um or basically all of the age within your audiences you know from 25 to 55 year olds right or 54 year olds right that will already put you above the edge okay you can see right here so that is absolutely great um so here you can obviously see some uh, job title like that that are related to people who are interested um, in the, the outdoor space or specifically camping. So you can definitely use that to your advantage. But you know what I really want you guys to pay attention to is this tab right here. Once you go to page likes, um, these are basically the top categories. Okay, so if you go to the see all, you can see some cool brands, um, RTIC Outdoors, some equipment store, Southern Boys Outdoors, products and services, um, Mossy Oak, uh, Sporting Goods Store, Cabela's, which is actually located in Pennsylvania and other places as well, um, Sports and Recreational, Clothing Brands, Gun Style Under Armour, The North Face maybe, you know, again, these will basically open up some of, like, your thinking box, I would say, maybe even, you know, get you to think of other very similar relatable interests. Because sometimes, especially if you don't know your product or a niche too well, you know, some of these interests may not pop up right away. And obviously, Google is a great way. But, you know, these interests can definitely serve as a benchmark. Um, some actors, um, some public figures that may be on like TV shows or kind of in that outdoors camping niche, uh, news personalities, comedians. Uh, some retail companies, again, Dick Sporting Goods, Big Lots, um, some, you know, generic sports that you can uh, target, like, for example, hunting, uh, TV shows, Duck Dynasty, which is, uh, you know, outdoors TV show, um, what else, what else, what else, home improvement, uh, maybe brewery, you know, people who are maybe into outdoors, like to, to drink and whatnot, especially camping, um, community, home, TV network, uh, there's a whole bunch of things, guys, whole bunch of categories right here. Uh, perhaps Groupon, because people on Groupon are obviously always looking for different deals and stuff like that. Uh, maybe Living Social, which is kind of another very similar website like Groupon. Um, Ikea, you know, I personally focus on the top 20 always. Um, so again, I think this is really, really beneficial. Um, again, even if you go right here, you can see some other pages you can target. I always like to put my relevancy um, over here in my affinity. This is kind of the most accurate audience. You can also see kind of uh, you know, their size as well on Facebook. Um, again, some of these will overlap from here. Uh, but again, you know, you have some other pages but not you can also target and also, you know, get some other ideas from as, as well, right? Again, you know, these are a whole different mix of things. You know, you have a retail store where you have a brand, uh, you know, you have uh, a TV personality or, personality or a public figure right here. So, you know, these are really a bunch of different interests that you guys can actually look at. You can even use some of these directly. What's actually even really cool is you can actually even save these interests as well. For example, uh, camping. And then when it comes time to actually input the interest or the audience, you can even actually just kind of, you know, put it straight over there, you know, when it comes to the interest part. So a lot of people don't actually know about this, but this is actually great. Facebook gives this to you for free. And the second uh, tactic I, look to, I like to use is this tool called Sell the Trend. If you guys do want Sell the Trend, I will have a link in the description below. Not only do they have uh, you know, Facebook audience builders, but they have product research tools. They have um, just different video tools and whatnot as well. So if we just go into camping right here, 
Um, you know, you'll see that there's a bunch of public figures, there's demographic uh, interest you can use, uh, different interests, brands, website and pages. Uh, some of these are overlapping from the audience insights section that we saw. Uh, magazine, uh, jobs, um, TV and movies. Um, so again, this is absolutely great as well. You can directly use some of these interests and also kind of and also kind of get other ideas off of. So if you really want to tell the trend, I will leave a link in the description below. Definitely check it out. Not again, not only does it have a Facebook audience builder, but it has a bunch of bunch of other tools as well, especially you know for product research and validation guys so again i want to keep this video very to the point um you know if you're looking for interest or if you're getting stuck um you know definitely use the audience insights tool and you know also feel free to use sell the trend um you know those are just two of the methods that i personally use to you know find relevant uh interest for you know a product that i'm you know first willing to set up through facebook advertisement so again i really hope this was helpful and insightful and knowledgeable um leave any you know questions thoughts concerns in the comments below i promise to reply to every single one of you and with that being said guys again thank you so much and i will check you guys out soon peace